I'm here with Coach Mark Mish from the UCCS men's track team. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing fantastic, thanks. Coach, last uh, week you guys had a meet, Grand Valley State. It was a big meet. Uh, tell me how that went for you guys. Well, uh, it's not very often the indoor we travel a long ways away just because we have a long season with outdoor following, and that's kind of our focus. But uh, we have uh, some seniors on our roster this year indoor who are going to redshirt outdoor. So we're kind of trying to peak them a little earlier for those guys. And uh, they have national experience already. So we're kind of hoping for um, them to, to do something special during the indoor season. Grand Valley State is a tremendous facility. It's a D2 school, obviously up in Allendale, Michigan. 300-meter track, one of the best facilities in the nation. Uh, they put on a fantastic two-day meet up there. So uh, we made the investment into taking a few guys up there to let them have a go of it. And, uh, yeah, it's an experience. So, um, you know, we, we, we're competing again in a couple more days, so we're on to the next thing. But, but it was, uh, you know, it's like anything, no matter how a race goes or for an individual or a relay or whatever, there's always a lot of things you take away from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, last week the weather kind of played a factor. So well, I was traveling, you know, you go to, you got to, all well, travel winter is always hit and miss, but we were up in Michigan and they had an Arctic storm come through. <laughs> so that, that made things a little bit eventful, um, traveling back and flying and some changes and how we even got back to Colorado Springs. Thanks, thanks to uh, some alums who helped us out. I appreciate that. I picked us up up the airport, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's part of it. And you, 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 that's that's how anything goes with sports. You're, you know, you're traveling, and uh, sometimes that factors into things as well. So, but um, yeah, our air guys are pretty used to that stuff. They they've been around the block a few times, and, and they know how to deal with things and kind of move on. So. And with living in Colorado, weather changes sure. every hour. Yeah, we 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 get some fantastic days. Uh, we have some tough days. Mm -hmm. Our our team. Our, our normal uh, training time is in the mornings, year mm -hmm. round. So, as you, you can imagine, there's some days that you wake up with some some things that weren't like that the night before, in terms of ice or snow. But we're pretty adept at using the using the shovel and uh, getting it done on the track, or even even shoveling the trails in Mine Valley Park. And, or uh, we utilize the parking garage that we have. Wow. Uh, the the lower level mm -hmm. is rarely used by cars down there, and it's quite big and spacious. Mm -hmm. So it's a dry place. We we've, we've done some some training there too for certain workouts. So yeah, you just got to be creative and roll with it. Like I said, the guys are pretty adept to that. They understand mm -hmm. that, and and they get it. They they know what we're trying to get done, and so sometimes you have to change things but you get the same result. you just want to be careful in the process so. of course i like the create the creativity with well, the thanks. parking we garage try. we try our best and then this friday you're going to the colorado school of mines for yep. the joe davies open kind of tell me how you guys are preparing for that and uh what events you'll be competing in and sure well it's a track we're very familiar with we compete there two three times a year every year uh, it's an interesting track. It's it's uh, it's what's considered to be undersized. Mm -hmm. uh, anything under a 200 meter uh, flat track is considered undersized for indoor. If it's over that, then it's oversized. They make mm -hmm. adjustments for time and qualifying based on the size of the track. Uh, Mines is a unique track because it's built into a building that is very long but very narrow. So mm -hmm. the turns are very tight. The straightaways are longer. Um, so it does take a bit of getting used to. Like, so our guys have run there several times, so they kind of know what to anticipate. It's an odd-sized track, 188 meters for lane one. So mm -hmm. the splits are, you know, at, at different locations and not just not like a straight 200 meter okay. per lap, you know. Mm -hmm. So all those things factor in. They, they believe it or not, and you have to kind of know what you're doing out there. But um, we're looking forward to it. it you know, we uh, it's a good meet. There's we have a lot of our guys competing um, in, in different distances. Some are using this tune-up races for conference in door next week. Uh, others, we're going to try to see if we can't get move up the national qualifying list in a couple of events that we're, we're on, the, on the board with. Um, and then we got a lot of young guys just getting experience. So it's just another meet for us. But it's fun. Like, you know, I think guys are, we've been training really well. We've mm -hmm. raced sparingly with most of our guys to this point. So I think for them it's a treat when they get to go out there and, and get mix it up. So, yeah. And uh, talking about conference, what's kind of your expectations for that? Just what are you thinking about like that? Like I said, indoor for us is, a, is, you know, these guys race, most of all our guys are, you know, 
cross country, indoor and outdoor track. And mm -hmm. our national championships wasn't until December 6th. And so it's a bit of a grind. Mm -hmm. um, so like most of those longer distance guys, indoors, it's very short anyway, it's over February. Our focal point is really training, staying healthy, and really cranking up for the outdoor season. So we don't put a lot of emphasis on the indoor uh, conference meet. We're, we don't fill the full team. I mean, we've got some individuals that go in that are pretty competitive at a high level, guys that could, you know, maybe be an All American or have been or mm. or All Conference or whatever. And we'll certainly put ourselves in a position for them to have a good shot at it. Uh, most of the other guys, we're, it's just another really good meet opportunity to compete. Uh, maybe they run an indoor PR. You know, it kind of depends on the individual and what we're, what we're preparing for. But really, the bottom line is for 90% of the guys, it's a springboard on into March, April, and May, which is really, like I said, that's more of our, our focus. So you can't, it's hard to be 100% sharp all the time. To stay at the top is very difficult. You have to have cycles when you're, when you're getting better, not just racing, you know, mm -hmm. when you're training. So maybe you're putting in more work, so you're, you're racing, you're not going to be quite as sharp. But, you have to make those decisions and sacrifices. And for us, this is that kind of time of the year, February. Um, we want to keep uh, uh, training well through March before we really get to the fun stuff. So, Well, Coach, thank you so much. Good luck in your meet Got it. next Friday. Thanks and for having me. I appreciate it. Have fun. All right.